Yo, what is up guys, back for a full fight breakdown. Today we're going to be doing just the main event of UFC Vegas 12, Hall vs Silva. This is not the best of cards coming up this week, so I'm going to leave it up to you guys whether or not you decide you want a full card breakdown. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say if we get over 25 likes on this video, I will also do a singular co-main event breakdown for Bryce Mitchell vs Andre Feely. And if the video gets 40 plus likes, I'll actually do the full card breakdown. Other than that, I'll just be doing the main event and potentially the co-main. And yep, as always, I'll drop my full card predictions on Twitter and Instagram the night of the fights. But yeah, um, all up to you guys. Um, like away if you want the full card breakdown. If not, we'll just stick to the main event and co-main event as this is not the most exciting of cards. And of course, before we get started, if I could ask you all to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, it helps the channel grow. Thank you all very much for tuning in. And without further ado, let's get into this main event. We have Primetime Uriah Hall taking on the Spider Anderson Silva. Um, should be a fairly interesting clash of styles. We have Anderson Silva coming in 6 foot 2 um, with a 2 inch height advantage. And on the flip side, Uriah Hall with a 79.5 inch reach, so he has a 2 inch reach advantage. Um, Uriah Hall coming from a karate style background, Anderson Silva coming from more of a Muay Thai stylist background. Um, a pretty fun clash of styles and for where both these guys are at in their career, um, it makes a lot of sense in the division. Uriah Hall has finally started to gather a little bit of uh, momentum with back-to-back -back wins over Antonio Carlos Jr. and Bavon Lewis. Um, the win over Antonio Carlos Jr., um, I would consider a little bit of a controversial win. It was a split decision win and it was very close. There was good periods of that fight where Uriah Hall had his back taken by Antonio Carlos Jr. and just had to ride out the position. But yeah, very close fight there. And then be the one before that, he took on Bavon Lewis back at the late end of 2018. Um, was losing that fight fairly decisively until the third round. Bavon Lewis, being the uh, the newer, fresher guy on the scene, just six and zero at the time, he put out a really high output for the first two rounds, and it was evident watching it at the time that the guy was a bit green. He hadn't paced himself too well, and that all caught up to him in the uh, third and final round, and he got sparked dead by Uriah Hall. But that's a thing that Hall is kind of accustomed to doing in a few of his fights. Um. If you look back at his three of his last four wins, they've all been sort of come from behind victories. The the spin and back kick win over Gegard Mousasi, then the um the come from behind win against Christoph Jocko, and again versus Bavon Lewis. Dude has a tendency to be able to endure a storm and and come back and win, which is a a fairly interesting um attribute to have in a fight obviously Anderson Silva has done the same thing before but that was all the way back in 2010 against Chael Sonnen in the fifth round of their fight with a Hail Mary triangle armbar that, that you know made him retain the belt but dude was on his way to losing the 50-45 decision in that one and in terms of just uh, looking at the records Anderson just hasn't been able to put things together much as of late if you want to go back and look for a finish from Anderson Silva, you have to go all the way back to 2012. That's eight years. And of course, he does have one decision win back in 2017 against Derek Brunson. A unanimous decision win, but in my opinion, far more controversial than uh, Uriah Hall's decision win over Antonio Carlos Jr. I think it was pretty much unanimous. Most people agreed that Derek Brunson got robbed in that fight against Anderson Silva in that one. So in terms of how I see this fight playing out, um, I just have to favour Uriah Hall in this spot. Um, he's given up a couple of inches in height, but he does have the advantage in reach. Um, he does have, I'm going to just call it what it is, it's a nine-year age advantage. Anderson Silva's 45 at this point. Not only has he reached his point of diminishing returns, but in my opinion, he did a long, a long time ago, probably back in 2015, 2016, that kind of area. Um... Dude has been losing to pretty high caliber competition. That is one thing that I will say about Anderson Silva. The look at his wins, uh, sorry, his losses in his last four or five losses: Kananuya, Adesanya, Cormier, Bispin, Nick Diaz. But 
kind of near that fight, you know, it says a uh, knee injury via leg kick. So, you know, Anderson pretty much quit in that fight. He couldn't handle the leg kicks from Jared Cannonier. And, you know, Uriah Hall is a big, powerful dude. Um, like I say, he does have a tendency to be very inconsistent in between fights. But, you know, with the with the point of diminishing returns for Anderson Silva, I don't see him being able to come back this late in his career and start picking up wins again. So pretty, even though Uriah Hall is definitely an untrustworthy kind of guy, he's, it's hard to put your chips behind. I wouldn't really recommend betting him a reduced line. But in terms of a pick, I'm going to take Uriah Hall and I'm actually going to take him to win via KO slash TKO. So that's it for the main event prediction of uh, UFC Vegas 12, Hall versus Silva. Like I said earlier, if you guys want a breakdown for the core main event, the goal is 25 likes on this video and then I'll drop a Bryce Mitchell versus Andre Freely breakdown. And then if this video actually cracks 40 plus likes, I'll do the full card prediction. Other than that, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you all very much for tuning in and enjoy the fights.